Hey, so thank you for checking out today's video on Field Agent Review. If you have this app downloaded, great. If you do not, pause the video, go to the description link so you can click on it and download the app because this is something you definitely want from this day forward. With Field Agent, you literally can make money while you shop. And I'm talking about major retailers like Walgreens, Target, Publix, Kroger's. Albertson, 7-Eleven, I mean, where you can think of shopping, most likely there's an assignment for you to do. So make sure you check the app daily. So who's with me? Who has already heard of Field Agent or who has not? Please leave your comment below. And if you know any other apps similar, please drop them too. I'm going to be doing actually another video comparison with another one that I use that's very similar to Field Agent app. So make sure you are subscribed for that video. But anyways, this is from WTAE Pittsburgh where they did a cover on being a Field Agent. And yes, literally all you have to do is take pictures pictures back then it was just they paid only via paypal but now they have upgraded and you can literally get paid cash directly to what your bank account but we'll get more into that later let's check in the app so this is what your field agent dashboard looks like it's five tabs in the bottom your search your active projects your earnings um, you can explore and your account information. So searches, for example, say you're going to Kroger's, you're going to CVS, you're going to do a search in the search bar for the stores that you're going to, to see if there's a current bounty available. Bounty is what they call projects. The active shows a combination of bounty projects available because there's numerous different ones. It's surveys, it's buy and tries, it's a uh, secret shoppers mysterious shoppers different ones and there's the earnings the earnings is self-explanatory and a lot of this video consists of that so we'll get right back into that and then the explore is just different exploring options to make you a better bounty um, agent and just different numerous things on there and account again self-explanatory your account information uh, like how long you've been active stuff like that so when you go to the active tab, you'll be able to find jobs and literally so many you can choose from. And you can also look for it through jobs or map. Map is the ones closest to you. So as I said, they have an array of jobs. Like the ticket job is basically something you do in the app to enter into their monthly drawings for cash, buy and try is that you'll shop, buy an item, try it, they'll pay you for buying it and also reimburse you for the product if it's approved ratings and review the same thing you try a product you get reimbursed for it you live a review audits is you basically go into the store and you're checking to see if something on display or on shelf and you make sure most importantly to match the upc and take good pictures which is the audits that's the type of jobs in the app you collect photos and information about the product usually it's about 10 to 20 questions you have to answer but most importantly is the pictures you want to say clear legible pictures all sites and surveys that's just literally answering questions about your shopping experience by the way with the buy and try I forgot to mention keep in mind if you're going to be doing an online one an online bounty it's a two project thing for example you buy the item online you try it at home and then you have to rate it and leave a review so it can take some time this is something that you will not most likely get paid right away on because again it's time sensitive because you have to buy try rate and review and i mentioned the upc code earlier so i hope i didn't throw none of y'all off but these two right here are my favorite jobs i spy and the scavenger hunt why because you literally go in there and look for products and you just make sure they matches the upc code or you go look for the product and make sure you take good pictures identifying the product you answer simple questions and that is it no video recording at all just 